Sampling involves less cost and time than looking at every member of the population. So this is a major benefit. However, a big disadvantage is that the process cannot summarize every characteristic in that given population. It may also suffer when there is a shortfall in data available for analysis from specific groups. A procedure called weighting is used to correct this, but in turn that can affect the results. With random sampling, we can see the levels of cooperation and calculate non-response. This tells us how accurate our results are at the analysis stage. However, it is expensive. Non-random approaches, on the other hand, are cheaper, but we are less sure of accuracy and the levels of non-cooperation are mixed together with many other things.